Sir, what are you doing? Why are you taking away our TV? It's for your own good, cadet. But that is the only thing that makes this place bearable. Television rots the mind, cadet. How can you focus on your studies and improve your character if your brain is full of your morks and your mindies? Now you'll have time for more worthwhile endeavors. Write a letter. I'm sure your parole officers will appreciate the personal touch. Okay, that is ridiculous. I mean, we should do something. He's right. Spangler doesn't get to make arbitrary decisions about our lives. He can't tell us where to go and what to do. Oh, wait. He can. Face it, Francis. We're like prisoners, but without the rights. Okay, so we're helpless. But even helpless people have options. History is full of supposedly powerless people who found a way to stand up to their oppressors. What are you talking about? Civil disobedience. You know, like, like a hunger strike. We could do that. I mean, he doesn't want a bunch of starving kids on his hands. That would totally work. I don't know. Isn't that a bit drastic? Can't we wait till after lunch? What are we having? Shepherd's pie. The strike starts now! How long has it been since we ate? 33 hours, 12 minutes. Oh, man, they're serving dinner right now. Ben Hunt! I found myself eating the last several meals alone. Are we dieting? Don't tell me it's prom season already. We're on a hunger strike, sir. We're not eating until you return the television. Ah, passive resistance. The last resort of slackers and sissies. What about Gandhi? Sissy! We're making a stand here, sir. We will not back down until we get justice. Now, let me see if I've got this straight. I get to continue to eat, but you don't. Ooh, I feel the pressure already. Ah, how? Make it stop. I'm so hungry. I think we proved our point. Guys. This hunger strike will only work if we stick together. Now we can do this. Our stomachs have shrunk. The hardest part is over. Good morning, cadets. I must say, it is inspiring to see young men with the courage to stand up for the things they believe in. Two whole days. What an impressive show of civil disobedience. That's the kind of intestinal fortitude that can only be properly honored by an omelet bar. Tempting us with food isn't going to work, sir. Of course not. These delicious eggs and choice of scrumptious fillings are for me. Now, here's my dilemma. What shall I put in my omelet? Black forest ham, imported cheese, porcini mushrooms. Porcini? Oh, what the heck? Give me the works. Mm. 